I'm Brittany with Stitches of Love Quilting, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna give you some tips for making the left applique border of your Garden Moments Lock of the Month, and this video is specific for those of you doing sewing machine applique. So let's get started. First off, you have a bunch of fabrics in your kit this month. Let's talk about all of those. So you're gonna need to do a little bit of cutting. So you'll starch them just like you always do, lightly starch them, give them a nice little press because they've been folded and shipping. So I'm just gonna tell you what these fabrics look like. And obviously the cutting is super simple. So the pumpkin B cross stitch on cloud, that means it is cloud white and the X's on that are pumpkin colored. So they're orange. You just need two squares. That's gonna be your background in 10. Daisy is your gold X's on your cloud fabric. And those are four blocks 11 and 16. Your T rose, that is a pink X on the fabric, and that is for blocks 12 and 15. Then the two colors right here for 13 and 14, you don't have to do any cutting, just press them. Alpine is the green, cottage is that turquoise or peacock or aqua color, whatever you wanna call it. And then you also have a second piece that's larger of that cottage color, again, the, the blue color, the turquoise color. And with that, you are going to press it and then very specifically cut the three and a half by one and a half inch rectangles for your sashing. So the applique background fabrics, we're having you just cut loosely to five inches because we're gonna trim them down eventually to three and a half inches before you assemble your border this month. So when it comes down to your sashings though, that three and a half by one and a half, that's your real number. So cut carefully with those. But when you're cutting your five inch squares, it's okay if it's four and three quarters, don't worry about it. You're gonna trim it down to three and a half so you have more than enough fabric. So I just wanted to go over that table with you so you know how to read that and know what the colors are. So again, pumpkin is your orange, daisy is your gold, tea rose is the pink, alpine is your green, cottage is that turquoise color. So once you have that, then you wanna organize your applique pieces. So let's talk about what goes, that's our next page, what goes where. So let me flip back to where you can see your pattern. We've organized it per block. So you know, of course, over here, you know what your background fabric is. And over here, we're telling you what applique piece goes where. So I'm just gonna review the names of these colors to make it easy for you. And then after that, to be honest, the stitching is so easy this month for you. So block nine, you have your autumn. So they do have pumpkin and autumn. They pretty much look exactly alike. But in any case, fun fact, this is autumn cross stitch. And then you have your gingham for the center of your star. So this is this your block nine. Then for block 10, you have the peacock kisses with the matching stripe. Then for 11, you have your grass green background and the scissor print for your star. Then when you get to block 12, you have a cute little heart with the flowers. You have two leaves, the flower center and the flower itself. And of course the cute pink stripes. Now to 13, you have a red daisy print for the outer part and a red solid for the center. Block 14, you have a yellow square plaid. I call it yellow square plaid. I forget what it's actually called, yellow daisy plaid or something. And then you have, again, the autumn for the center, autumn cross stitch. Then for block 15, you have a denim star with matching stripes in the center. And then a really fun one, for block 16, you have the plum, cross stitch, and this design is called cross stitch. See the little X's everywhere? It's called cross stitch. And then the raspberry center. So then when it comes to doing your applique, these are really simple, nice straight lines on the stars, a few curves on the heart, really nice, easy stitching, which is nice because you're making, what is it? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight applique blocks go into your border. Now between each of those blocks, you have a sashing and then you also start and end your border with a sashing. So you have nine total sashings. So you have seven between, one on top, one on bottom when you're assembling that. I gave you step-by-step -step instructions in that pattern for assembling, it's super simple. You're just gonna literally start at the top and work your way down. What I like to do when I'm doing something like this and how Julie has always taught me, if there's something that you do the same over and over, you can do some chain piecing. So for example, we have you start off by putting the sashing on the bottom of every block. And then we have you start assembling the border together. So real simple piecing um, for putting that together. If you want to, to be real careful with your seam allowance, we do have another video on YouTube where we talk specifically about getting the perfect quarter inch seam allowance. This is the first um, 
piecing together in this quilt, if you will, and you wanna make sure that you have a really accurate quarter inch seam allowance. And to get that, you actually stitch just a skosh smaller than a quarter inch seam, because when you open that seam and press your fabric open, a little bit of that fabric is eaten in the fold, right? And so you wanna sew a smaller than a quarter inch line to get a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. So we have a video that Julie walks you through getting the perfect seam allowance, and that's really helpful, I think, if you wanna just maybe brush up on that before you put together your border, because when we assemble the inside and we've already pre-assembled the borders, we wanna make sure it's all gonna to fit together lovely. And then when it comes to your applique, as always, we've told you what piece is where. Let me do jump over to the pattern and tell you block nine, one and two, block 14, two. What that means is if you go on your placement guide for your block, you have piece one and piece two. For your heart, you have pieces one through five. So what we're meaning here when we say um, block 12, five, you know that your heart block. So we're talking about the applique piece number five it's pretty easy to coordinate your fabrics, especially now that we're on our ninth block of this. You're really seasoned and know your colors and know what fabrics have been where. It's all the same fabrics in the borders. So that's it for this month for your sewing machine applique. It's super fun to do. You're gonna to put together your left border. Then next month we're gonna do the same thing but the right border and the right border has more hearts in it. It's kind of funny. It's a real kind of scrappy applique border but we'll be doing a very similar thing next month and we'll provide you the exact same charts that make it really easy to organize everything. So I would recommend just get your pieces organized cut your fabric, and then I would lay my background fabric with my applique pieces, put them in numerical order, and then you're ready to go for, this is blocks nine through 16 is um, what we call them. And that is in your ninth box out of 14 boxes, 13 boxes. I don't remember at the moment how many you get. 13, I think. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're always happy to help. Happy stitching.